Hey guys, this is Oxman bringing you yet another editing video for Armor 2. This is about briefings. I'm gonna start off quick and uh, we'll get started. This is the site. I'll link it in the description. You download a file, script, you pull out the script called ftaskhint.sqf. Pull it out into your mission folder. I already have done that here. And then you have to create two SQF files that is um, the two scripts that you need so this is a text document I've created it it's a notepad thing this is how it looks so you should know from your language or whatever you have uh, save as and then put in law SQF or in your uh, in your case uh, in it and briefing so you make two and just make sure that file format is all files otherwise it will create another text and you don't want that so save there we have it all SQF that's all you need to do uh, in it this is what it is in it initializes all the scripts before the mission starts so exec vm it executes this script briefing SQF so this adds the actual briefing into the game so it could be seen uh, you know on the map uh, MK all this I'll uh, put all these scripts down to the description down below you check that if you don't if you can't see what it's typed in here anyway this is something that adds this script the one we downloaded so except that when you've done that so go into briefing and this is the nice part the long part as well um, always player create diary record this is definitely gonna be done in the description so you just <laughs> check that out but I'm gonna explain it so this enemy forces that's the note this is one of the notes if you've seen the note in game before you should know what it is so note says enemy forces that is the note tab it's basically what you, one of the things you want to see. So it's named enemy forces. And when you press enemy forces, this is going to come up on the side. And there's going to be, you can put a lot of information here. And one thing to note is that you can do that. This basically means new line. Uh, so that's very good for <laughs> making briefings. And I urge you all, when you make briefings, please have structure in the text. Otherwise, it's very hard to read, and it doesn't give you the same type of professionalism that you look for in a mission. I might be, uh, I don't know, stupid for thinking like that, but it's definitely something that I like to see, and I also like stories and all that, but enough about that. So this is notes. This is tasks. So the first one, this is going to be down low. It's called insert. This uh, really just gives me the name of it, uh, so you can use it to delete it or whatever. This is the first one. It describes the whole objective and its reason, <laughs> or whatever you want to type in. This is what the big text, the big box. This is where you write down everything that you want the player to know about the specific task. And this is the insertion. Oh, this is the <laughs> name of the objective. For, in this case, it's called insertion. So the task will light up as insertion. This thing, this is what's what it's going to be called on the map. Um, you've seen it before, I believe. Um, when you have a mission, say on single player, you play on recruit, you put in the task you put it as your main objective and then you'll see a yellow orange arrow and it says destroy this or scout or recon or anything that's basically what it is so this is gonna be seen right there so I'm gonna edit these to make so they make more sense uh, radio destroy is better Ambush. So, 
there we go and the last line just defines where the task is on the map and in game so you'll have to make a marker get marker post I'll see I think you could be it could be able you could be able to just put in a object here as well um, just make sure that if you want to try that out you can post in the comments if you've tried it but I will do that before you do so check the description and I'll confirm if you can do that but this is how you do it you save this save and that's basically it you have the script that starts the whole thing you have the script that tells you what it is and you have the extra thing that looks nice so I'm gonna stop recording the screen here and I'm gonna go right into the game right I'm in the map okay there's a few things you need to know what I've created here is something that you can do in the in it but for this case just do it here you put a anybody so it just detects it exactly when the game is in put a one second delay so the player will have to you know so can, they can notice the whole thing happening and this is what it, the special effect that you want um, task one call mark f task hint that's it and then a semicolon player set current task task one that basically makes the first ta task the main task for now and uh, what this does is it calls for the tasks um, state status or state in this case when the mission starts it's just been assigned and it's new so that's what it's gonna show and basically when you have finished a objective say here you already know that we've um, gone through this task one set task state succeeded basically makes the task one succeeded and after that and make sure it's after the that you put in succeeding that this goes in and then you call for the task hint and that basically shows you that you've succeeded succeeded otherwise you'd have to go into the map check the task and see if it's green and when that's done you obviously want the player to set the current task task 2 so you switch the task while the first task completed I've done something here that um, well simple you don't have to use scripts for this you can use triggers only so objective one true if you've seen my other videos you know what that means it's a variable that's put it's put on and I made another trigger that the condition is objective one five second delay and then it calls for task two task hint and task two is just been assigned so it shows you that it's been assigned and you do this for everything set tasks succeeded move the tasks and all that I'm gonna show you how it looks in game and let's see right so start here new task assigned insertion right up there that's the insert the marker let's um, move to record this mission start Go. It's gonna take a while, so I'll, uh, could <laughs> I'll stop here and get back to you. Okay, we're over the LC. We're gonna get out of the helicopter. And if you've seen the first video of the U this series, um, <clears throat> you'll know that the first objective is gonna be complete. So I'm gonna make these morons get out. All disembark. All disembark. And I'm gonna get out myself. If you don't get out in time, for some reason this guy wants to jump out, so get out on time and uh, make sure that your players do that as well. There is a way of doing it um, right there. Task accomplished, insertion. That's the first task. We'll set current. There. Assign task, the bridge trap. So that's how it looks like. It basically alerts the player that task has been completed and there's a new task assigned it makes it easier for the player this is well you'll have to decide for yourself if it's realistic enough if you don't want this you can use 
uh, you can skip the F task hint and just put in it the normal stuff like a radio message that tells you you've done it or anything like that so that's basically it uh, you don't really need to look at the rest of the mission but and that's how you do briefings um, all this should be shown you should know how to do it if you don't uh, just comment I'll reply as soon as I can just um, anything that you need any more requests um, I'll be glad to take them and see if I can help uh, thanks for me thank you for watching please comment subscribe and like and favorite Oxman signing out.